Hello everyone and welcome to Elm Creek. This is Chris and this is Treeline Farms. Treeline Farms with Chris. And today we are playing on Elm Creek. Uh, this isn't the sheep farm. This is one that we just set up. We're playing a new farmer. I got rid of all the equipment that came in new farmer. I set it up like we were going to play... Um, uh, farm manager so I gave myself uh, 1.5 mil and I did some construction here I added a new uh, workshop put in a TMR mixer let's just run around here uh, this is um, this is the high moisture corn silo uh, a meridian silo that we put in with all the stuff and then we put in this uh, hay and straw storage and then out through this door we have the uh, dryer grass dryer so you put grass in here and you get hay out here you're gonna need that instead of using the tetters and wind rowers and things like that well we may use a wind rower and then we have a we have the uh, we have the, I'm sorry, Massey Ferguson uh, 3670. We have a Schuttle Maker. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Schuttle Maker uh, Forge Wagon. We have the Deutschfar 7. We kept the trailer that came with it. We added a couple of buildings to store our stuff. And then we left this one. We're just going to use this for any seed. Uh, fertilizer, that type of stuff, any storage that we may need. And then we also have the bottom end underneath of the building here that we don't have anything in yet. Uh, we bought, let me go to here, and as you can see, we own all of the, all of this down here below 50, 51, 53, 39. We're not going to hold on to 39, but we may hold on to 53. Excuse me. And uh, because we're going to need uh, grass, we're going to add in a, uh, we're going to make this a cow, bar uh, cow uh, farm. We're going to either have, I think we may have steers. And as well as uh, make it a dairy farm. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's take our our truck here. It's the only truck that we have so far, and it's just a grain truck, nice Chevrolet C70 drink green truck. I hop in here and head over to the shop. We're gonna need to. Uh, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're going to need to uh, pick up a couple of things. I, we're gonna, I'm going to lease. I'm going to lease uh, a combine to, uh, you know, do all the, co uh, all the uh, field work that we need to do to get crops out of the field for now. Maybe down the road we'll buy one. And here we are at the shop. We'll run on over here to Clever Motors. Now we sort of need to be quick about this because uh, because we need to get uh, wheat or something in uh, in the ground that's going to provide us with straw next year what do we want to use let's go with the John Deere let's see this is 10,000 liters versus the X9 at 16,200 liters hmm 
Or do we want to go, let's see how much it costs to rent the Fent. Ooh, that's expensive. All right, well, we're going <coughs> to, oops. What about the X9? Eleven thousand to rent that. Oops, I'm sorry. I keep doing that. Uh, let's go with this. Let's go with the this one. It is the T560. We're gonna lease this. Yeah, this is a better price for us here. And then, what do I need as far as a uh, looks like the 625X details. Uh, we're going to lease this. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hook up here to the header. There we go, and we have manual attached, so we're going to need to hop out. Uh, oh, there we go. Everything's hooked up. Everything's hooked up. Okay. And here we are, back to the farm. We're heading farm. out to get this sorghum out of the field. And we're going to unfold the combine. There we go. Let's just get rid of this menu. I don't think we're going to need that. And just uh, pop out here and cut into this field. Get this going. And out here is where we're going to put our cow barns in this field. So we're not really concerned about, I just, you know, there's no sense in wasting the crop. We're not getting any straw off of this field anyway. Let's zoom out here so we can have a good look. And I have the uh, real speed on here, so this won't take near as long. Now, in the other let's play that we're doing, we have uh, we're doing that more realistic, a little bit of role play. In this one, we're just uh, just farming, playing the game, having fun, and. Uh, so, as you can see, it's not going to take long to get this done. <laughs> it doesn't want to stop at the end of the field, I can tell you that. zip right along here so my plan for this is to uh, I'm gonna try not to cheat money in if we don't need to I will buy uh, equipment off of the sales page when possible uh, 
I'm going to try not to have a, that big of a load. Right now we don't have any. And we have the 228,000 in the bank. So I think that'll get us at least get the buildings and hopefully some cows. Uh, we may have to purchase food for those cows though this first year until we're all set with that. So here we are, we're finished already with this with this uh, field. Oh dear! Oh dear! And back out, back into our farmyard. over to the auger. Let's hop out here. Turn over. Hop the vehicle. Start it. Now, which one is that? It's this one. That's a little close. We'll leave it there. Okay. And back into the combine. Get that pipe. Oh. I forgot in FS22 you have to have the combine running to get the pipe out. And... Oops, oops. A little contrary. There it goes. All right, while that's dumping, let's, ooh, we're saving. Let's find out what other fields we need to get going here. So, okay, so none of them are ready to harm, except for uh, 51. What do we have growing in 51? Oh, are those potatoes? Yes, they are. Yee. Okay. Uh, well. Okay, so everything else is still growing. Uh, and we have some fields that we need to get going for the next year. Um, so let's do this. I got that going. Let's, uh, I'm probably going to regret this, but we're going to hold on to the combine for now. And this is going to cost us a whole lot of money. But... We'll just throw it over here out of the way for now. And, uh, I'll get us a, a potato harvester and, uh, and we'll get going on the potatoes. I'll be back with you in just a moment. And we're back. And away we go. Now this is going to take an interminably long time. So, once again, we're using the real speed mod just to try to speed this up just a, just a skosh. We're going to need to put another headland up here at the top just so we can get A, stopped, and B, so we can uh, get turned around. Oh boy, look at me. All over the place here. And away we go. So, so far, I'm really enjoying FS22. This has been really nice. And I really liked uh, Farming Sim 19 as well. But 
this has so far surpassed that. Now there's some things that they're still working on, I'm sure. But uh, the overall gameplay has been great. The workers, in fact, we may even put this guy, we'll put this on a worker. But I don't know if they're going to be able to get stopped before they run into the trees back here, so. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, we're on a worker. And while that's happening, we're going to need to hop back into our, our Chevy. In fact, we're going to go ahead and check the sails. Oh, well, eh. no, I don't want that. Uh, we need another trailer. And then there's one thing that I want to buy, which is cheap. is the GMC, the 1980 GMC Brigadier. I'm gonna put a cool paint job on it. And rims are gonna be chrome. And we're gonna buy that. Yes. And, oh. We need to get this to the field, so uh, we go set up a worker. We're gonna go down here. Oops. Um, no, no, no. Create job. Start job. And there he goes. Okay. We're going to tab through. Oop, there's the truck. Tab through here. Get us hooked up to the. Uh -oh. No hoses to hook up. Nice. Let me zoom out here so we can see what we're doing. Well, this is nice. We could use this with another trailer, I guess. We'll hook up another. I wonder how that works. But we'll figure it out. We're zipping right along. So you're here. Good. Crash counter one. Oh, we're stuck. There we go. First crash counter, or first crash of the uh, playthrough. You guys keep tracking the comments. Speaking of comments, if you like like this game, this playthrough, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and. Uh, Green trucks just now make it. I wonder if that green truck will even hold potatoes. I'm sure it will. We'll find out. We're going to take this. To the uh, oops, let me switch back to here. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go over here to the train station to the Green Pool East. Uh, let's see which is closer. Green Green South. Yeah. 
So we're going to take this over here to the uh, Green Pool East because they will take our uh, to hold the potatoes for us. Please tell me this thing isn't full. It is full. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, let's see. We need to set up a a job. Let's see if we can get this to work. Deliver the brigadier to Oh, wait a minute. Let's before we do that, let's just see potatoes. Goldcrest Valley. That's the train that's gonna cost us extra thousand dollars every time we use it. The Johnson's farm market is forever away. Let's take it down here. This is We'll tag that. We're just going to sell these straight out. So we're going to. Uh, yeah, we're going straight here. Okay. Uh, is that defeating grain cell? Yeah. Create, create job. Feeding green south. We'll do looping. Start job. Let's see if he actually does it. Try it. Try it. Nice. Hop out. Let him do it. And let's hop into our green truck. Now, I don't know if this thing will uh, oh, saving, saving, saving. Okay, he's on his way. We'll have to do a little bit of clean up here. Oh, is he stuck? The worker's stuck. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay, let me get back with you. Okay, well, our truck's back. We got the we got the potato harvester unstuck. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, <laughs> we had some issues with the truck. It must have gotten hit by the train. It was all crossed up. So that's actually for the crash counter. That's crash number two. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see it. So we're now taking our green truck down here. Get these potatoes out of here. We're going to end up with a tremendous amount of potatoes off of this little field. We always do. You know, potatoes is something that takes a lot of work, but you sure do get a good return. And we're getting almost 5,000 for, for a load. That's just only 70% full, so. We're not doing too awful bad. We're going to definitely make up what we use to rent this harvester. So, in fact, it's probably getting full if it hasn't already. It says that it has completed its task. No, it hasn't. Oh, AI workers. 
All right, and we're back. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, we have enough headland up here to keep him going. So when we start the worker back off, he will, uh, you know, not run into the trees. Although I have a feeling he will run into everything else. So I want him to be perfect. And, well, let's just stick with him here for a moment. Once again, if you like this video, there's more. There's also my my playthrough series, uh, Wooly Beginnings. Feel free to pop, uh, have a look at those. Like, comment, and again, if you like my channel? Go ahead and subscribe. Tell your friends. Okay, so that seems to be working. Let's go take this down to the cell point. There we go. The price is going up all right. And then over here, I have the Deutz Far. And this used to be, in Farming Sim 19, it was the Weba. And this is one of the greatest implements the game has. I love this. Now it's the lizard, whatever. But... Man, does this thing tear up the ground. And as you can see, we're getting some stones out of there. Stones and rocks. And we're going to keep this going while the, while the worker is, you know, getting our potatoes out of the ground. And now he's doing all right. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well, let's bring our other truck back. This actually holds more than the uh, than that trailer does, which is funny. It looks like we're gonna have to unload him real quick. Before we before we go over to the uh, to put that down so let's swing in here real quick oh of course he's on the wrong side so hopefully we make it down uh, in fact i think i might just return this thing uh wrong one Yeah, let's just return this trailer. We don't need this thing. Oh, he crashed into my truck. <laughs> uh, workers. Got a jump start on us. I'll catch you here at the end before you start turning around. Perfect. Turn those in just a moment. Uh, this, we can run up here, I guess. We'll get this uh, tie stall barn down. I'm going to do some painting. So, landscaping, painting. And 
and I want to change that so we can Oops, oops, oops. There we go. And now we make that bigger. Not all the bigger it's going to be. Okay, well, uh, let's just change the size. Uh, cut into our soybeans. That's okay. All right. Uh, now, animals. Uh, this one has the fence. Alright, we're finally almost to the end of this field. And that's the, this run and one more and we are finished. We can get this plowed up and, and whatever else needs to happen to it. Unfortunately, we need to run down to the uh, sail point. But the nice thing is, is it's not going to charge us while we're just sitting there. So, there we are. I wonder if we can get any more this in here. Let's just try real quick. We only have 94%. That's it. All right. Shut that off. Hop in the truck. I'm going to go down to the sail point. The sail point and get rid of these. Ooh. The train just went through. There we go. And we're off. This isn't a bad truck. I like this. I got this off of uh, OK Mods page. I'm not sure if it was done by Hailborn, but it was on his page. The same way with the tie stall barn. That also came off of OK Mods uh, web page. Price is falling a little bit, it seems. That's okay, I just want to get rid of them. All right, well, I am going to leave it here. We're going to uh, drive back up to the farm or up to the field, get that unloaded, get the uh, get the potato harvester. Uh, unloaded and returned so we're not wasting any more money on on it I 
There we go. Pop out. There's not let me back in there. There we go. Start it up. 